In the evening, Utterson is still thinking about the issue of Hyde. In the past, it has touched him on the intellectual side alone because he's worried about the will written by Jekyll naming Hyde. But now, following the information he's received about Hyde, his imagination also was engaged, or rather enslaved. Utterson's nightmares captured through the metaphor of a scroll of lighted pictures, a kind of forerunner of movies that depict his nightmares. The relentless nature of Utterson's nightmares captured through the rhetorical device of anaphora, where clauses begin with the same words, then or and, conveying the relentless nature of the nightmare. The sense of Utterson's nightmares overwhelming him is conveyed through the metaphor of the labyrinth. They're confusing and they're repetitive and relentless, and this is conveyed even more through the consonants of the L's and the hard C's, labyrinths of lamp-lighted. Names are clearly significant to Stevenson, and this is uh, really brought to light uh, through the statement, if he be Mr Hyde, he thought, I should be Mr Seek, drawing attention to the homophonic nature of the word Hyde. The first denotation of Hyde is the idea of something concealed. Jekyll conceals his immoral actions within the form of Mr Hyde, preserving his status as a gentleman. The second denotation of Hyde is that of an animal's skin. This interpretation complements the many descriptions of Mr Hyde as less than human. In fact, in chapter 2, Utterson exclaims, The man seems hardly human! He's later described as ape-like or zoomorphically represented through terms like snarled. London itself is zoomorphically represented through its low growl. Uh, this can create a threatening tone consistent with the tension created by Utterson seeking Mr Hyde. Hyde is described as pale and dwarvish, with an impression of deformity without any nameable malformation. Both his small stature and sense of deformity are attributable to his lack of goodness. He's unique amongst humanity for being not a mixture of good and evil, but purely evil. The reference to Hyde as troglodytic suggests that, as a cave dweller, he's something barbaric, an early uncivilised human form. The concept's arguably extended at later points in the novella, when Hyde sees Jekyll as his sheltering cave. Also, Hyde's means of murdering Keru is to have clubbed him to death. The old story of Dr. Fell is a reference to an archaic rhyme that alludes to a hatred, the cause of which is unknown. Now, this, of course, perfectly represents the hatred for Hyde, the cause of which is unknown. Utterson assumes that Jekyll is being blackmailed by Hyde because of the bad things he's done in his past. He uses metaphors like ghost and cancer to capture an association with death and the horrific nature of what Jekyll might have done in his past. The irony is, of course, that he's doing it now in the form of Hyde. 